Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. Last time, we defeated Lloyd. Or did we? Let's find out. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to finish off a guy who can keep on doing that. Unless his jetpack runs out of fuel. That helps, too. Maybe we should, I don't know, disarm his Dragon Buster and then use it against him? See how you like it! Of course, I suppose it's kind of hard to disarm a weapon that you can kind of go through like that. Oh, what's she? Who is she? And what is she doing here? Finish him. Dumbass. Oh. Why? Why would we want to do that? At all? He brutally murdered probably thousands of people. For his own gain. Oh, he's saying he's doing it all for the good of society. Or for, you know, to create his utopia for all living beings or whatever. Screw that. What? Why did you do that? We were just about to kill him and, you know, finish the game. And then watch the ending on disc four. Well, let's... Hear our BS explanation. Shouldn't we all be up there? Or what are we doing here? Yeah, he kind of needs to pay for that. Yeah, the right answer. His death. We've been chasing him for over two discs now. So... What are we doing? Why are we screwing around like this? Well, let's see what's going on. Why what? Because she's an idiot? Yep. You're gonna die now. Any day now? Oh, that was Wink, the girl that he saved. Yeah, he did that to manipulate you. Intentionally. So that way he could kidnap the queen and destroy the world. I think that kind of justifies not protecting him. And yes, his death will solve our problems. Oh, she said Shauna was taken away. Sorry lost over that there. I got carried away. Oh. oh where's Velweb? How are you even standing up at all after getting slashed like that? Maybe Dart kind of pulled his punch there, so to speak. And maybe the cut wasn't that deep or something. I don't know. Well, then we'll just take the Divine Moon objects and take them back to their rightful owners. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. I don't think you punching him with that armor on is going to really hurt him that much. No, but it will prevent the deaths of many more thousands or maybe millions of people. I think that's a pretty good reason to kill him. And we kind of know that he's done all this. It's not like, okay, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. No, we were there 
when he was doing this. There is no ambiguity here at all. And somehow we're just going to let him off the hook like that. Maybe you shouldn't have left your sword on the ground there, Dart, for the serial killer to take it and stab you in the back. Well, at least we got the Divine Moon Objects back. Uh, okay. Yeah, what's going on here? I thought he'd be happy that the humans are running the show now. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't his utopia, though, be humans ruling the world? Which is pretty much what we're doing. <laughs> I like Mare. So, how do we get there? Oh, or we... Yeah, we need that, too. So, let's see. We need the red hot ball, the red hot stick, and the red hot mirror. Or wait, no, that's another game. No, I think our life was doing pretty good. I mean, seriously, like, people keep on talking about making the world into a utopia. What was so wrong with the world before all this stuff was happening? I mean, Serdia was united. Everything was at peace there. There were no bandit problems going on in Tiberoa. And we didn't have a divine dragon trying to nuke the entire kingdom of Deningrad. I don't know. Call me crazy, but that seems like we were doing pretty good. Well, whatever works for you. I don't know your religion. So we'll go with that. Sure. Well, she is now. So basically, pretty much the whole reason Miranda was put into our party was so that way Shauna could get kidnapped again. Like, okay. Because, I mean, they couldn't just get rid of Shauna and then, you know, lose a whole dragoon that we've been investing in for the whole game. But, yeah, that seemed... I mean, there is pretty much no direct reason why that happened. Shauna transferring her powers to Miranda other than so that she could get kidnapped again. At least as far as I know. If there is a better explanation, let me know, viewers. Uh, he saved her so that way he could manipulate her into letting him get close to the queen and steal the moon mirror? Or he could just go with that. Uh, booty! Yeah, that that's the reason. Yeah, maybe he likes blondes. I don't know. But anyway, all right, we get all the divine moon objects. Not that that really goes, does anything for us. Do we have more party members with Lloyd? No, no, he does not join our party here. But I do want to get back to the top of this place because there's one more thing I want to do up there. Okay, we're back up top here. So now let's go back down or go down this teleporter that we couldn't get to before because well the plot demanded it whoa hey did you escape from one of my other lps and this name is probably used in a number of jrpgs ah ah well okay well anyway yeah we can't take him on yet i don't think but i do want to grab another therapy ring all right yeah let's uh get out of here you can't do anything with him until you get all 50 of the stardusts at least i don't think you can do anything with him can you i don't know you know let me check it out uh, sorry if my numbers are a little different i had to uh refight lloyd there with the 
be because of where I ended the episode there. I didn't intend for the fight to go on that long, so I figured I'd just cut the episode there and refight him or whatever. I didn't feel like recording two consecutive episodes. But anyway, yeah, let me see if I can actually try to take him on. You insolent fools! For boss time against Faust himself. How hard could he possibly be? <laughs> well, let's see what we... Oh, he's a wingling. He's got pretty strange looking... Or different colored wings, I guess. Okay, let's get him! Fortunately, he is pretty susceptible to physical attacks. Ah, I missed that. Oh, well. And he's pretty slow, evidently. But yeah, we can run circles around this guy. Come on. That's more like it. Am I even damaging this guy? No, I'm not. Is he, like, gonna do anything? I've never actually tried to do this before. Because you're supposed to get all 50 Stardust, and then you get an item that allows you to... Well, actually fight him. Huh. He's not, uh... Doing a whole lot, huh? I wonder if I can even run from this. Whoa! Nuts. Uh, how is he getting this many turns in a row? What happened? I mean, I was running circles around him one minute, and then now, what is it, three turns in a row? Ow! Uh, yeah. Run! Oh, we actually can run. Oh, I, I was expecting that to not work and then have him annihilate me into oblivion. Okay, well, yeah, we, we can't take him on. That is just a sample of his power. He can deal thousands of damage to you at a time. We are way no match for him. Even if I could beat him here, I would imagine it wouldn't matter. So, yeah, I want to uh, get out of here. I'll meet you back down below where we got the Divine Moon objects. I lied. We actually have to go back here. But, I mean, there's only one way to go. So. But anyway, if you look at the sign... Ah. Okay. Well, I don't know how you're supposed to know to go this way, but this is the way you need to go. And by the way, if you try to leave towards Deningrad there... Lloyd will say, I'm not going into a human city or something or other like that, but I'll wait for you here. And Dart says, I trust you. Uh, I don't know where that trust comes from, but okay. Oh, well, here's the last new enemy that we could have met up with back at Cashua Glacier that I didn't until now. Mammoth. Let's see, these guys can poison and stun you. So you want to watch out for that. Also, I've got my party members on some new additions. Well, Mare is still on the same one, but I've got a new one for Hassel there, if I can get to his turn. Hmm. Well, let's start with uh, the one I got for Dark, then. Yes. Gush. Yeah, that one's not too hard. The one for Hashel, Hex Hammer. Holy cow, I'm I will be surprised if I get this right. Oh, well, okay, if I just I outfought myself, I thought he was gonna have a counter on that second hit there. Uh, let's try that one again, Hashel. That was a bad example. Okay, try again. Woohoo! Got it! Is it just me, or is it... When, when he says Hex Hammer, does it sound like he's saying Sex Hammer? Gush. Tell her. Her. Gush. Gush. Her. 
I'm the only one? Okay, never mind. But I mean, look at that staff she's got there. It probably is a sex hammer. Holy cow. He's manly enough for it. And we get a stunning hammer, too. Hayashi will probably is that, too. But anyway, yeah. Hex hammer, if you get a counter in the middle of that thing, you are doomed. No way. Well, maybe not no way. But it is really, really hard to perform Hex Hammer if he gets countered in the middle of it. Because it just happens so fast. It is probably the most, addi the most difficult addition for me to pull off. But anyway, this is the way we're supposed to go to advance the plot. Let me see. I thought there was something up here. Maybe that's the next one. It's probably the next one. Oh, and you know, I should probably adjust my equipment a little bit, too, for this area. But we'll be fine here. But, all right, we got a couple new enemies here. Let's see. I think one of them's Bowling, and I don't know what the other one is called. Wild Man. Wild Thing. But anyway, okay, let's see. Bowling. Yeah, there's really nothing too special about these guys. Although Wild Man is Thunder Elemental, so you might want to watch out for that with Hashel. Yes. He does have some thunder magic that he can use against us. Yeah, Moon Strike isn't that difficult for Dart. If I'm focused on what I'm doing, I can perform that almost every time. I'm probably going to eventually just grind Hexhammer to get it out of the way, because for me to develop that over time would be really, really insane. <laughs> Wow. Okay, one more. Whoop. And it started getting cocky there, and that's what I get. Knocked on my butt for that. How did that miss? I hit that one dead on. Okay. Let's try again. Man, we're almost dealing as much damage as we were with the max level, whatever the last edition I was working on. A five ring shattering. I think that was it. That's too early on that one. Okay. This is about the point in the game where I am not nearly as good at these additions as the previous ones that I could do every single time. So you're going to see a lot more mistakes out of me. And I know how you love to watch me suffer, viewers, so I'm not going to edit that out. But anyway, yeah, I should edit in my equipment changes. Okay, we finished the... Oh, actually, I don't think I really need to change my equipment. Except I would like to get onto the Mind Crush, because even though this is still a snow area, nothing here is weak to fire. But I think pretty much everything else we want to keep the same. Let me see. Do any enemies have... Yeah, there's some enemies that have evasion here, so I'll keep going with the salad. But otherwise, yeah, there's really nothing I need to change. Okay, let's keep on going. Then. Ah, there it is. For some reason, I thought the chest here was supposed to blend into the background or something. Oh, what's going on? Oh, okay, sure. Are we going to have story time? Spoiler alert! We are! Well, we need a break anyway. How do you do that? I thought the world was doing pretty good. Especially three years ago. Ah. How is Diaz still alive after all this time? Well, I suppose Rose is. What do you mean? 
Well, you seem to be doing pretty damn good, Lloyd. Okay, so yeah, how do we pull that off? So whatever happened to it then? What do you mean, Utopia? To be a little more specific, Utopia is kind of a broad definition thing. Oh, yeah, we've heard this like, what, ten times by now? So, what does he look like, then? I don't know. Black Monster's kind of gone now. Haven't seen him for a while. Like, decades. Ah. Yeah, I don't understand. Why do you want both of them? Oh, okay. Oh, well then, we probably shouldn't hand those over, huh? And we'll kill them. Well, we've been doing pretty good so far. Yeah, what does she have to do with any of this? You're not going to tell us, are you? No, you're not. Okay, never mind. Well, is the snowstorm all done with? Yay, it is. One thing you could also do with this little hideaway wherever we are, you could go back in there and you could rest up here for free indefinitely. I'm not going to use it for grinding, but you could if you wanted to. So yeah, you could rest up here for free all you want. But are we going to head straight to Velweb from here? Or should we do side quests first? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.